So everybody's got a job on a day like this, and uh, I think I got the cool job today. Dusty said, you think you can drive that? What's up guys, it's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, got a fun, exciting video today. I'm having to reshoot an intro because I may have accidentally deleted the intro from the video, but a couple days ago I got up early and was, and was looking outside and noticed our mama donkey, Felicia, wherever she's at, uh, was laying back in the back of the pasture like I thought she was in labor. I was like, oh, we're on baby watch. So I ran down there and she wasn't, she wasn't having a baby. Came back to the house and just watched her for a couple hours and I noticed she wasn't getting around very well and so <clears throat> I thought well maybe she's in labor but having some issues so I was really kind of getting concerned so Houston and I went and checked on her and well here's what we found so maybe she's not in labor but we're gonna keep a close watch Houston and I are fixing to leave we've got to go uh, we've got to go over to the Ponderosa and help Dusty work bison today so mom will be back in a little while. She went to the gym and I'll have her keep a close watch and uh, we'll see. I think Felicia did something to hurt her leg though. That's what I think. Are you okay? Hmm? You all right, mama? Yeah, it's nothing up in the hip. I don't feel like. I feel like it's down, down in here. That's bothering her because she's not really tender when I touch here. Nothing. But when I get down around that joint, she gets a little tender. Hmm. All right, ladies. We'll leave you be. And we'll check back up on you later. Okay, Felicia? I wonder if Miss Kicky thing here <laughs> might have kicked her in the leg and bruised her, banged up her uh, leg a little bit. As you can tell, she doesn't act like she's feeling very good. But she is very, very close to having a baby. And... Now possibly has a, a leg injury, so we'll keep an eye on it today. And if she doesn't start getting any better, we'll uh, get a hold of the vet. But she's definitely tender right there. She does put weight on it. I mean, she's, it's not like it's non-load bearing at all. She's putting weight on it, but she prefers not to. Huh. Did you kick her? Or did she slip and fall? in the mud. Hmm? See, she's walking on it. I don't know. Okay, Oak, well, we'll keep you in the loop on uh, status of uh, baby watch. <laughs> Hopefully I come home this evening to a new baby. I don't think that's the case right now. But uh, as I said earlier, Houston and I are headed over to uh, the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. We're gonna help Dusty and I don't know who all else worked the bison today. And uh, in the past, we've had some uh, pretty interesting bison rodeos, I guess you'd say. Um, Dusty's been in the, the bison business for several years now. In the first couple of years, the equipment was uh, not quite up to par and working pins were not quite up to par, but it was he was learning and getting better and getting better. And uh, he's got his veterinarian on the way down with a big portable hydraulic chute and all the things. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get too spicy. But we've had some really close calls and some really interesting situations over the last several years. But uh, you know, one of the things I love about YouTube, it's, it's, it opens up a world of possibilities. Um, being a content creator for, for so many people, it opens up all these doors. You think about Dusty, Dusty was a teacher for 13 14 years but wanted to get into this bison ranching thing and there's really no way dusty without social media would have ever got the start the jump start into the bison world that he has he could have had a small farm with a few animals 
but he was able to quit his job and pursue that full time. And having an audience gives him folks, customers, to be able to sell his products to with his jerky snicks and his sticks and his snack sticks and all the things, plus meat. He ships frozen meat, and uh, it's just created a, a niche market for him. And it's not just dust. You look at Jason and uh, Brooke over at Coggill Farm. They've got their, their coffee line and us with all of our merchandise and pecans. You look at Flair, Fishing with Flair. <laughs> Andrew Flair does, really doesn't fish a whole lot anymore, but his, his jerky line has exploded. He's bought, I don't even know how big the warehouse is, but you look at all these content creators that they started out just making videos for fun and it's led to a business. And that was uh, at the Oki Homestead Conference when they asked Dusty to come speak. His whole topic was on starting a business from home and uh, the internet has opened up a world of possibilities for all of us. So who would have ever dreamed a guy could get out there raising bison, take a camera and uh, change his life. So let's go see if we can change some lives today, I guess, right? What's up, buddy? You on a bike? There you go. Feed him. He lead out of your hand. Now you gotta give him a kiss. No, not that. Right on the nose. Now somebody's just got to run and shut the gate. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> So everybody's got a job on a day like this, and uh, I think I got the cool job today. Dusty said, you think you can drive that? <laughs> yeah. So one of the uh, upgrades Dusty has made to work in the bison. It's all right, I wasn't talking. I'm kidding. Anyways, he's got a hydraulic pusher. So this thing, you can open both sides, close both sides, and you can get in a pin and uh, push these bison around and not be uh, not be in there on foot like we might have used to do in the past and still probably will some but this is a uh, huge addition for safety purposes all righty kind of looks like home to me it's very familiar wonder what in the world this guy's got dude wipes in here for huh What's that all about, Dusty?
I think you can kind of see how this works. Kevin's on the ground opening gates and moving things around for me. And uh, we're going to use this to push these bison down the alleyway. Is that a like a? He got reserve. He got reserve in the open. Same side, under skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like it goes in there. <laughs> it's so thick right there. Yeah. All right, y'all, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> I got uh, several of the bison in different stall areas, different pins in this hydraulic chute. So they got one in the actual squeeze chute, a couple holding pins, and then I've got these two that I'm holding here. And uh, man, that's a thousand times better than the way we used to do this. You talk about a lot safer, a lot less stressful on the people, and should be a lot less stressful on the animals too.
go get some of them cows out. It's kind of hard for you guys to tell what's going on with the limited view that I've got uh, but they don't want to run all of these animals through the chute at once I'm trying to just catch you know so many at a time but
Yeah. Out there, Tuttle, out there, Colby. Do you know anything about them, Doc? That herd or that lineage? That's number 71, by the way. Yeah, they seem super stressed out, don't they? Hoss come out, he's already back to grazing and he's what, 15 yards from the working pens? Not too bad. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, y'all, made it home from uh, the big bison ranch work day, and uh, I think everything went pretty smooth. I mean, I know it went a hundred times smoother than things went a few years ago when we first started <laughs> this whole bison working mess. I hate these thistles. Where I go, I see thistles. Anyways, uh, went a lot smoother than it did in the first few years of Dusty's bison raising career, but uh, no drama, nothing really happened until after I left. I heard there was some drama with Big Joe and Dunbar, so uh, I don't know what that's all about, but it went smooth. It makes a big difference when you have the right equipment for the job. That big hydraulic working chute and having that skid steer with the gates that, you know, hydraulically controlled and I can push, push those bison down the lane and stuff. It just works great. And, uh, yeah, everything went without a hitch. That's always good. So back to check on our mama donkey back here. Felicia is definitely not in labor but she is uh still moving slow but it looks like she's putting a lot more weight on that leg now hey 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 get back get back get back phoebe no you're not coming in here <laughs> you girls have to stay in there with brandon hi brie did you have a good day hmm felicia is your leg feeling better you sure act like you're moving on it a lot better. We're putting weight on it. Oh, yeah. She is much better. Did you just wake up with a sore leg? Or did you get kicked by your little friend there? Hmm? Yeah. If you'll be still, I'll get that horse fly for you. You got one horse fly bugging you. Well, that's good news. She is all right. I don't see anything bothering her now i really was hoping she was in labor this morning but looks like she had a sore leg and she's putting her weight on it she's walking Bree, you need me to scratch your hiney you always come at me butt first how is it hmm still a little tender you're all right <laughs> i backed up didn't i you're a mess. Watch her spin around. She always puts her butt to me. You're a good girl, Bree. Yes, you are. How did you go from being such a wild, crazy, don't let anybody touch me, to what you are now? Hmm? <laughs> all right. So all is well here. Everyone's good, happy, healthy. Everything's good on the home front. If you would uh, like more information, want to learn more about what we were doing today with the bison, 
you'll have to go check out cross timbers bison on youtube that's dusty and marissa and brooks my uh, in-laws dusty's my wife's brother and uh, only on youtube though he got hacked on facebook recently no longer has a facebook page i've been there and it's a scary mess but we were basically twice a year he has to bring the bison in and work them those used to be you know 500 years ago bison were wild animals and they roamed the great plains they roamed all over north america and they didn't need to be dewormed and vaccinated but nowadays since they're confined inside fences we have parasites and we have diseases and things so they have to bring them up work them a couple times a year and that's just part of the process of raising bison but if you want to see more about that go check them out at cross timbers boston so anyways guys remember do something today to make somebody smile because you never know it just might change the world guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video